Hi everybody, it's your girl Serena. And in Serena's Kitchen today is all about comfort food. Food that just warms you up like a warm blanket. It's loving in the oven. Chicken pot pie. Hi guys, all right, let's go over the ingredients for this chicken pot pie. Let's start off with uh, the main attraction, the chicken. It's about two cups of chicken, cooked and shredded up. Now, you can save yourself some trouble and buy one of those rotisserie chickens you find in the supermarket because guess what? That's what I did. Or you can make your own chicken, that's your choice. Then we have one fourth cup of flour. We're gonna use that to make the roux. And in here we have about a cup of carrots with about two stalks of celery, all chopped up. One medium onion chopped up. We have chicken broth, about two cups. You may wanna add a little more, but that's up to you once you start cooking. Now I have minced garlic that's from the jar. Guess what? You can use fresh garlic, but minced garlic is just as flavorful and works well. Now let me tell you about this, better than bouillon. This is awesome. It brings out the flavor of chicken, soup, anything you make in relation to chicken and pasta. I advise you, if you see this in the supermarket, get it, it is delicious. Then we have about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of frozen peas. Keep them frozen, no need to thaw those out. Okay, let's put this together. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna have to cook the filling to the chicken pot pie. In a nice heavy pot, you're gonna melt about, this is about four tablespoons of unsalted butter. So we get that all nice and melted. Then you're gonna to start to add the vegetables. Okay, once the butter is melted, Add your carrots and your celery. Now these are my vegetables of choice, but of course, you know, if you have any favorites, you can add to it because there's nothing wrong with a little bit more veggies. It's not like you're doing it wrong. It's the way you like to eat it. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook for about, about five or six minutes until the carrots are a little soft. And then I'm gonna add the onions. Okay, let's make a little correction. This should cook about two or three minutes. Now we'll add the onions. And now this whole pot here will cook for about five to six minutes or until your onions and carrots are soft. You know what? The onions and the carrots and the celery is perfect. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. All right, so now we're gonna add the flour because we wanna make a roux. We wanna make the sauce a little thicker. So we add about one fourth cup of flour. If you think you need more, you can add more. And I think that's gonna be good. I may have to add just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add maybe about a teaspoon more because I'm not using a milk base in this recipe. Sometimes you see chicken pot pie made with heavy cream or milk. I'm not using that. All right, so now we have the broth. And let's stir it in. So we wanna get it like a nice gravy. All right, so we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes before I add the chicken and the garlic and the bouillon. Okay, let's add this better than bouillon. This is about a tablespoon of the bouillon. Let's get all of that in there and the minced garlic. Let that cook for a second. See, now it's getting to be a nice, thick gravy. Look at that, nice. Wow, that's good. You know what I'm gonna add? I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and a little onion powder, just for extra seasoning. You can do this if you want. Believe me, it's delicious. Now let's add the chicken. Stir it all up. And then I'm going to add the frozen peas. All right, boy, this looks delicious. Let's add the frozen peas. Like I said, you do not have to thaw them out because you do not want them too mushy. Boy, this looks so good. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So now we're gonna let this 
cooled. And look, you know what? We're going to let this. Let me just taste a little bit. Oh, the seasoning is perfect. All right, so since so basically it's done, I'm going to shut this off because we got to let this cool down a few minutes. So in the meantime, hey, let's get to that pie crust. The pie crust, so simple. I made it yesterday. So easy to do. Now, if you do not want to make your pie crust, of course, naturally, you can buy the crust that's already made in the supermarkets that roll out. But I'm telling you, this is so simple to make. Now, in a previous video of mine called Apple Pie a la Mode Deconstructed, shows you exactly how I made the pie crust. Um, so you get a moment, head back to the uh, library and check out that video to show you how I made it. But in the meantime, I will put the ingredients at the bottom of the video if you would like to make your pie crust from scratch. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let's roll it out. Now, I'm not using a baking mat. This is something that I purchased a long time ago. Honestly, I don't remember where I got it, but you know what? You could probably get it on Amazon. This is what they call a pie crust covering, and it makes it so easy to roll your crust. So you put a little flour in there, zipper it up, and you just roll it like this. And you can roll it up to the length of the uh, covering here because I am using about a nine inch pie pan. Okay, so let's roll it out. And it's also so simple to apply to your pie pan. Okay, see how simple that was? So easy. You pull your pie pan over and instead of trying to struggle to put your crust on your pie pan, this helps you just apply it like this. All right, so I have the crust at the bottom. Now, you know, I'm not always perfect with applying pie crust, even though it tastes so delicious. Hey, issues happen, but don't worry about it. If something like this happens, don't worry about it because we're gonna fill it up now, and then when you put your covering, you can always fix it up so it can look pretty. All right, so now let's put all the chicken pot pie filling because it's cooled down enough. Let's pile it in. I am ready to dive into this pot and eat all of this. What if I put this whole spoonful in my mouth? <laughs> all right. This is gonna be hearty and very filling. Now, once you get all of the chicken pot pie filling in your crust, we're gonna work on the top. Okay, I applied the top crust. Now, you'll have some overhang, but that's perfectly fine because what you're gonna do, you're gonna roll it under and you're gonna tuck it in. And if you have a little bit too much overhang, just, you know what, just cut off a little bit like this. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to taste so good. That perfection on the part of the way it looks to me is not that crucial. All right, once you get your pie sort of organized, then you're gonna pinch the sides like this so it can look like a pie. So you just take it and get your fingers like this and just pinch the sides. Again, hey, doesn't have to look perfect, but it's gonna be good. So just pinch them a little bit more. Okay, if it's too pointy, you can pat it down because otherwise the top will burn quickly. All right, so now we want that beautiful golden coat. So you get an egg, beat it, and rub it. Give it an egg wash for that beautiful brown, oops, color. Once you get the egg wash on it and in between the little nooks and crannies of the crust at the top, we're going to add a little kosher salt for flavor and some pepper. Parsley flakes. And don't forget, you have to make slits inside the top, on top of the pie. About four is good. 
because it has to ventilate. The steam has to come through. The oven was preheated at 350 degrees. We're gonna cook it at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the crust is a golden brown. I've waited for about 40 minutes and the smells that's coming out of this oven right now, I know it's ready. Let's pull my chicken pot pie out. Golden brown. Yes. This looks fabulous. Here we go. Fabulous. Okay, so it really has to cool down, which is the hardest part, waiting. Because we can't cut into it yet. We don't want it to fall apart. So be patient, let it cool down, and then we can taste it. Waiting patiently. Since this Popeye is comfort food, it's supposed to keep you warm like a blanket. I don't need this. Let's get started and cut into it. All right, I can't wait any longer. It's cooled down enough for me. So let me get started here. Let's cut into this delicious looking pie. Oh my gosh, I can see the juices coming out from the top. Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, let's see here. Wow, that looks so good. I gotta dig in. All right, I cut into it. I think I cut it a little bit too soon because it's still hot and some of the filling just spilled off in here. I don't care. It's still gonna be delicious. All right, here we go. I couldn't wait. this world. The chicken broth, it, the flavor is just popping. Just the simple amount of vegetables, just the smallest ingredients just turn this little pie into something huge and very flavorful. The pie crust, crispy on the outside, very flaky. Again, make the crust. This crust goes with sweet and savory dishes. Well, you know what? I'm gonna finish my slice of heaven and I want you to subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment. Enjoy food. Hey, this is even better the next day. Make sure you have leftovers. Ciao.